Hi, welcome to 7 Facts, the channel where you'll get to discover little known facts about every single country on this planet. In today's episode, we'll talk about the state of Rhode Island as part of the series dedicated to the United States of America. But before we get into it, I ask you to subscribe to my channel. In return, you'll get to explore the hundreds of videos that are already up, plus two brand new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Rhode Island isn't just simply called Rhode Island. That would be absurd, right? Its official and full name is the state of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations. The Rhode Island part was named by the Dutch explorer Adrian Block, who called it Rhode Island, or Red Island, after the red clay along the shoreline. But it might also come from the Italian explorer Giovanni da Verrazzano, who referred to the Greek island of Rhodes while speaking of the island in the mouth of the Narragansett Bay. The Providence Plantations part comes from the name of the colony that gradually evolved into the city now known as Providence. The state's long name derived from the merger of four different colonial settlements, Newport and Portsmouth from what was then Rhode Island, and Providence and Warwick, hence the plural Providence Plantations. In 2010 there was an attempt to change the state's name and drop the plantations part, due to the negative specter of slavery it's been associated with. However, the term was an archaic synonym for colony, and with an overwhelming majority, the people voted against the name change. Rhode Island was founded by a radical. Roger Williams was kicked out of Massachusetts in 1636 for what were considered extreme views on religion, politics and personal freedoms. He was accused of spreading diverse, new and dangerous opinions and was almost arrested but managed to flee the state. What were these dangerous opinions? Separation from the corrupt Church of England, freedom of religion and the legal separation of state and church. Williams wanted his new settlement to be a haven for those distressed of conscience and it soon attracted a collection of dissenters and otherwise minded individuals. From the beginning, a majority vote of the heads of households governed the new settlement, but only in civil things. In 1640, 39 freemen signed an agreement which declared their determination still to hold forth liberty of conscience. Thus, Williams founded the first place in modern history where citizenship and religion were separate, providing religious liberty and separation of church and state. This was combined with the principle of majoritarian democracy. Rhode Island's tradition of independence and dissent gave it a prominent role in the American Revolution. By 1772, they already attacked and burned down a British ship, the Gatsby. Four years later, Rhode Island was the first of the 13 colonies to renounce its allegiance to the British Crown on May 4, 1776. It was also the last of the 13 colonies to ratify the United States Constitution on May 29, 1790, once assurances were made that a Bill of Rights would become part of the Constitution. Rhode Island was the first state to enact a homeless Bill of Rights. In 2010, the state legislature formally cemented homeless people's right to equal access to jobs, housing and services, banning discrimination on the basis of housing status and guaranteeing homeless people access to public spaces like sidewalks and subways. It also specified that homeless people should have an expectation of privacy equal to that of people who live in homes. Rhode Island's rebellious and independent way of thinking put its mark on another major moment in American history. They were one of only two states that in 1917 refused to ratify the 18th Amendment, also known as the Prohibition of Alcoholic Beverages. While in the rest of the United States, alcohol was almost completely banned, enabling well-organized criminal gangs to thrive, in Rhode Island and Connecticut, this federal law was never enacted. Rhode Island was the birthplace of the American textile industry. What's so interesting about that? Hold on, let me explain. 
In 1790, Samuel Slater built the first water-powered cotton mill in Pawtucket. And this was one of the first steps forward in what would later be called the Industrial Revolution. This man is now known as the father of the American factory system and he paved the way for a global industrial revolution. He also pioneered the Rhode Island system, a later copied industrial organization system that involved recruiting entire families to live and work at the factory. And that was it, these were 7 facts about Rhode Island. I hope you enjoyed the video and will leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment downstairs and do check me out on Facebook and Twitter. If you wanna help this channel even more, there's a Patreon page that you can visit where you can become a patron. I hope to see you next time, bye.